Today I'm honored to present the S. Earl Dove Highway Award. This award recognizes individuals whose contributions of time, energy, and intelligence have advanced the interests of our trucking industry and the ATA. Named for the former ATA chairman and founder, owner of AAA Cooper Transportation, this is ATA's highest award. The recipient of this award had a tremendous presence in our industry and at ATA. He was known for his leadership and guidance, his ability to bring groups together, and served as an example to all of us here on how best to serve our industry. Genuine, loyal, kind-hearted are just a few of the words that describe today's awardee. He always had a smile and a warm handshake and was the first one to pick up the phone to just see how you were doing. John Conkin was the managing director of BMO Transportation and served as president as well at Act One in 2013 and 2014. John's knowledge of this industry along with his ability to identify a problem and quickly find a solution is why so many companies in our industry are as successful as they are today. John built relationships in his company, with his customers, and certainly with our ATA. While serving as president of Act One, John led the efforts to build a much stronger partnership, if you will, with the ATA by revamping the sponsorships to allow both the association and memberships to thrive. Under John's leadership, Act One was on the ground floor helping to build the foundation for guess what? Trucking moves America forward, the industry's worldwide image movement. There was never a conversation where John was not pushing TMAF and working to get others involved in that program. He did so thoughtfully and with a gentle hand, explaining the benefits for an improved image for not only the ATA, but for the entire industry. John put time and energy into everything that he did. He always provided great guidance. He always had an honest answer and was calm and reassuring at the same time. His passion for trucking was shown in every conversation he had with everybody that he dealt with. Other passions included his love of golf, where many of us learned his leadership lessons on the course and took advice from John, whether it was for business or to lower our score. I personally enjoyed walking Augusta with John and seeing him in that element. When I had a situation in the West Coast, he was the first one years ago to call me, to check on me, to see if I was okay. His other passion was his family. He always brought them into the conversation, always. He told us how proud he was of his kids and, and what trips that might have been planned in the next few months with Sandra. His work family loved him as well, and he was a leader of the industry. He wanted our industry and our association to do the very best we could, and he helped rebuild ATA. John Conkin was one of the finest men we have ever met. His warm smile, his humor, his quick wit, generosity, kindness will be sorely missed. John Conkin was a true gentleman, and as I am honored to present the S. Earl Dove Highway Award to his wife, Sandra. Sandra, would you please join me? Let's give her a round. Thank that you. Was wonderful. Uh, Thank you. Could you say a few words? Thank you. Uh, I'm going to try to hold it together. Um, I'm Sandra, John's wife. I proudly accept the Earl Dove Award in John's memory. He would say he is no more deserving of this award than anyone else in the room, that you all have given so much to the trucking industry but he would have been so proud to have received it. John loved the trucking industry. He loved BMO. 
he had a wonderful working relationship with Dan. They were friends as well as working partners. The only time that he really lost it after receiving the cancer diagnosis was when he talked about what his death would do to Dan, and he was devastated thinking about that. He was so proud to be part of Act One, to be on the board and serve on Act One. Throughout his career, he made so many friends with those he worked for and with, and those became his most meaningful friendships. When we would talk about retirement, he would say, to me, retirement is the opportunity to do what you love with those that you love. And I'm doing that every day, so I have no intention of stopping. I miss him, and I hope that you continue to support and better this industry that he so much loved. Thank you.